so strong. <laughs> it's incredibly good. I I expect them to pick it up like maybe versus a Meepo, maybe versus a Strength Carry, but it's it's. A and in fact, Ohio does nice little steal too. He actually takes the regeneration rune away from Universe, and it was pretty low at the time. Middle lane, DJ being initiated on. He got Nightmare set up for this concoction stun. DJ with the Windrow means they can't just fight into him. In fact, this vision from Mushi needs to buy more space. But with a Clockwork Rock and the attack from Fear, oh, that's enough damage to kill off DJ. Enough. It is true, it's a low cooldown ability, so the 2.5 seconds he's gone from Disruption, he has another 1.5 and, and he can cast it again. Big and a Nightmare, so, uh, RTZ, okay, the Nightmare takes oh, off, and gets a double it. stun because of it! With a concoction down, Mushi with the Fissure, buy space for DJ to get himself out of here. He shackles on the Fizz, there's no fall, PPD, there's poison on him, but the Power Shot won't arrive in time. PBD will Radiance survive as he TP's back to base. DJ may not be so lucky. Fear is right behind him. Brace that is not off cooldown, but it's not required. And the attack um, from Fear is enough. And now it's 3 0 to EG. This was not the dream, the Fnatic. <laughs> There's not much else to say about it than that. Doesn't happen that often from Samael, but. Cost him a kill. Everyone they're they're makes smoked mistakes. up. They're gonna go for. Uh, they start with a poison. Black is a hell of a lot of oh. damage. And in fact, the disruption, the fish is on time from Mushi. They don't have another stun. The poison from Net will be enough to kill off Samael here. So there is a revenge, but Black severely underestimating the amount of damage that can come out from that timber. And now on bottom lane, Ohio, the crush will arrive. And he is dead. Well, should be. He is in fact dead as they go back to finish him off. This is very strange. Try and counter these stacks. So the smoke's going to break. Now, Fee doesn't have vision of this. They throw down the obs. They throw down even a sentry ward right next to the obs to stop the stacks from happening. It's the bottom lane where there's more trouble. Ohio, concoction's done with the ass sprayed down. They'll actually tick out to the wyvern. This is very much worth it for Fnatic if they steal the stack, though. Shadow Poison is a great tool for this. He's maxing that. It's level 3. Max on this should almost be able to take them. That's going to give him Purge and give Ursha we'll level 4 if they stick does. around. Like, Mushi throws out the Fidget, keeping Arteezy and Fear back. And there goes the Poison. He takes the entire thing. Almost, almost level, level six. 6. Mushi is... Dead. Yeah. He buys Obs, he buys the smoke, he accepts his fate. That's now his second death as well in this Urshaker. And he does have an Invis room. Yeah, is he going to go for Arteezy here? Are there... Farmed someone in the lane, now going jungle. Ah, oh, the smoke. Trying to keep EG's up. gonna yep. break Fnatic smoke, as well as Fnatic breaking EG's. Concoction from Arteezy. It's gonna be Mushi, who again takes a stumble with a Fiend strip up. The Fidge will come out, which will stop Fear from channeling, but with a Blink Rush forward. Universe is on the field with that Blink Dagger slaughter. DJ trying to keep Samal out with a Timber Chain. He gets the kill over on Mushi. Now goes over towards DJ. The chain's back off cooldown again, but there's no trees for him to work on, and Arteezy's gonna stun himself up. Luckily, no denial and base this time around, but it is 9 of 1. There is the backup of Net, but he's running down. He wants that easy. That's the reason the support came in from Ohio as well. Hook shots oh, are so and now out. they start. They actually purge onto Arteezy. And do they have enough? The disruption timing is going to come up, and actually Arteezy stuns himself up. Jackal's perfect. At the same time, in middle lane, it was a commitment from EG to kill off the Earthshaker, but you're trading a level 4 Bushi for a level 11 Arteezy. And he has really high net worth, so he's a very valuable kill for them. The timing on that disruption was actually oh, crazy. DJ. They're going again. Fear, he's got Fiend's Grip available, and there's nothing Net can do to save him. Disruption, actually the last minute, does connect in and Fear. Well, what's he got is another Nightmare available. Mushi will now arrive at Universe. He's going to crush oh. it down. Mushi oh. just never threw the Fissure. Mushi is really looking like so confident in his original placements or that he misreads situations con uh, consistently. He has to pick it up again. That was a possible kill on the slaughter if he gets the fissure off at the right time. Or higher? They can't what? kill Arteezy, I think. No, they oh, they're can't. They're gonna try. Well, they're gonna cock him up with the battery stop, but Arteezy's got his son available. Mushi, Fissure available, Net's it? gonna come in. They go for the purge as well as the catcher with a poor reason. Arteezy, they're still trying to work through this chemical Please, race, but Arteezy, disruption. The fidget's on the wrong side. They're keeping the poison up. Now Samal's gonna come and join the fight with a huge crush from Universe. Three heroes locked with the Whirling Dead. Fanatic, they are falling apart. The seems game one, we thought there was a hope. But right now, the hope has been lost if you're a Fnatic fan. You've still got Arteezy with 100 life hanging around. Black's gonna drop as well. He tried to come in the fight. The amplification, they'll shrug it off, but Universe with just one last attack. Fnatic will lose four. Positioning from Universe, perfect for the three-man crush. Like EG is still 15 up in the kill count against the two of Fnatic. Like, it's, it's a big dream right now. 7.5k in experience. Nice force, that from yeah. Universe and...
And Ohio's dead. Nobody get out of this one. It's a double attack as well. PPD's called embracing himself up. He should end up dying here, but oh, okay. No, one charges the curse. Buying some space, blank jumping not. forward, and Wind Ranger will be able to find this kill. So they do at least get a bit of a trade off here, Fnatic. Heiji are knocking on the front door, though. They're not getting in this time around, that's for sure, but Sumail is not really scared of anything. They don't need to. This is exactly what Black wanted to do before. Ah, uh, goodbye, DJ. Um, like, it's just the attack into the tier 3 tower that forces the retreat. Slark because of the miss chance, and against the Wind Ranger too, and he will just be farming like oh hi said. Easy amplification after the blink crush. Radiance they just walked in, so they take out the clockwork, and that means the tier one tower belongs to EG. About EG's lineup, we haven't talked about so much. They're actually pretty bad at breaking high ground. Radiance Alchemist is not that good attack. until he starts getting some significant damage items. Oh, actually, gonna yeah. get engaged on here. Yeah, it's easy. Gonna actually throw out the stun. Clockwork, nice hook shot forward. The purge allows him to get the perfect timing for a Pafia. Oh, the four stars already there for the slaughter. Pushing out TZ back. The poison was on him. And okay, Black arrives at the perfect time. That's a huge kill for him. Oh, and gets the leash over towards Fear. The Echo Slam from Mushi. He'll control up the Bane, the Nightmare. He won't be able to get the denial off. In fact, the Clockwork will be able to take this kill. A mega kill streak. In fact, 532 gold coming in for the Clockwork. It's actually his build going in for what appears to be an orchid, but the blink crush out from Universe even gets the first hit bash on Black. Black needs to get the Shadow Dance off, he's able to do so. Oh, the way for some hail with the blink forward and the Shaka being dragged back in. He finds the damage to kill off Black. Now goes for Ohio. The disruption came in from Net, but it kept Universe out of the play. Not some hail. And they'll still end up losing Ohio, so very quick tip for Tat. And there's 10 bloodstone charges now on Samael. It's very understandable that Fnatic tried to push for that tower. They were 5 on 3, they knew the tower was low. Ooh, but... nice shackle. Samael, well this armor's gonna start kicking up a little bit faster, and well he's got chained with the power shot from DJ. He actually gets the kill. Millisecond expiration on Ro Aegis, did you see that? No. <laughs> was it really that? It really was. It expired was last few minutes. He's landed a couple of fissures to get 3 assists, and got some farm to go with it. Slaughter yeah, going in. Yep, hook shot as well as that from Ohio. And can they keep their control up? Samael, he's in the fight. Ned can take it down so quickly that he at least just drops up on Bane, so there's no brain sap to get a quick pick. And Mushi's just gonna TP himself out of here. They don't have Echo Slam. Ohio is hot. Oh, wait, no. He's hard to get the trees. Samael, he realized something is awry. Cuts through the tree line. And they also lose Wind Ranger at the same time. Alchemist getting a solo kill in the mid on DJ. DJ did get the tower though, so speaking of midair, he must have had a shot in midair, destroying the tower right after he died. Uh, Another pick off. Good for EG now. Mushi, he can't blink. He's gonna go for the fissure stun. He needs more time, and he just won't get it. Even Universe finding himself a greater bash, and Black is being hunted down. There's a puff of smoke which they're trying to follow fear. Uh, okay, he can only reach attack. with the enfeeble, he can't reach with anything else. The experience. And it looks like Arteezy is going to transition this only Sanj. Uh, or r rather, he disassembled his Sanj and Yasha for the man, so he's uh, going to transition that into... going to go on Universe right now with a Blink Shackle. Is that going to be enough? Oh, sorry, Shadow Blade Shackle in, but no PPD's there. Goes on the curse on DJ. A hookshot four from Ohio, trying to keep fear around this, but he can't go for the brain step. Goes the Nightmare, but Mushi jumps in for the Echo. He's going to kill off Universe. Can't buy enough space Radiant's for his core to get back out again. Nutizzi. Thinking about coming into the fight, Ohio stunned up and brought down. Arteezy just using the Fist of Fury to win this one. But the oh, Mushi tries to slow down the mail, but he's got no way to really survive this. Ned with the purge, please keeping fear control, but PPD cold embracing him up, keeping his teammates alive. And Black, the sole survivor who's still just farming up the mid lane. The only thing of value that was lost there from EG was Universe. Could probably take Lena Barracks, so I'm curious to see if PPD goes in that direction with his Wyvern. Could buy a medallion right now if he wanted to, but might be looking for a secondary force that. Oh, Universe! Black, I don't know exactly what he was doing hiding in the tree line. Now he'll trigger the Shadow Blade and keep oh. me up in the dash from Universe! There was no Slytherin Crush! Beer! Well, okay, they wait this out, and Black, brain set down, Dyer's timing just not working for him. He actually had the ability to pounce and TP himself away to safety, but it's I don't know if he, if he pounces, attack. you can still follow with Force Staff, but then there's at least the risk that Universe misplays it slightly. He could have run with a Shadow Blade, like he wasn't amplified. So he could have just kept running PPD. Okay, he's got the help. Atizi arrives to start at the right time, and he just punches Wind Ranger down. So the two cores on the sideline. 
Black's walking Radiant's around with Nets Jam at the moment. So they're wanting to make sure they can kill off Fear. No Glimmer Cape protection. Fear's just in a position where you could four staff him up if, if you get the vision on him. Oh, if you had a four staff. <laughs> you do. It's on the SD, but he's dead already. The blink forward is the perfect timing. The fidget block will lock some mail as well as Universe in. But Universe with his four staff gets back out again. The concoction popping from Arteezy. He's battered on himself up. Can actually dodge that one with the mana style, but instead he decides to tank it himself. And the Echo Slam Mushy, no! As a spray. He didn't get out! The Acid Spray stops it! And Ohio, he's trapped outside! It's a double kill already for Samal! The Shackles might hold Universe and Samal close together, but the Bonds, they'll break! And EG go in deep under the tier 4 towers, and this could almost be the game right now. In fact, it is! DJ's gonna call it GG EG! have stomped game three out the lanes don't work fanatic some coordination things to worry about as well and this is not the time you want to have these issues that has got to be demoralizing the way they won game one and actually i don't know this this game for me was just as sad as it is just lots of mis